Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new developer's notes that just dropped yesterday. Um, I'm going to be going through every single one. I actually have read through this once before and there are some pretty exciting changes that are going to be going down. Uh, actually, one of them is somewhat worrying for me, but I think it'll be definitely okay because, you know, this is happening next week and there's a lot of things I can do before next week. So first things first. Um, Good day, this is Sung Gakyun. Alright, this 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 guy is the director of Monster Super League. So, you know, you guys know next time if anything fucks up, it's it's his fault. Um anyways, we're gonna be going through the, all the patch notes. Uh Alright, the first first thing, fix issue. The the passive skills for our defense up and down are not affecting the gems. Um Okay, I, I, actually, I, I finally understand what this means. So basically, it, it's saying that the, um, you know, for example, the Woodhana who has like a defense buff, um, when she actually does that buff, it's only based on the original defense of the monster, um, not not the defense plus the gem bonus defense. Um, say for example, like you have a Dark Sea Star or something who has like 3,000 around 3,000 base defense, um, and then you gem her up to have like 7,000 defense. And and uh, you you have like a a wood hana buffer who like I think the wood hana increases it by like fifty percent so you only get like a thousand five hundred um, extra defense but now you're supposedly gonna get like three thousand five hundred like fifty percent of the seven thousand um, instead of just the original three thousand which means like defense buff and attack buff are gonna be really really strong um, in the upcoming patch. Which also means that like defense break and and uh, attack down are also going to be very very strong as well. Um, currently, right now, like it it really only affects the 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 base like attack of the monster, but now it's going to affect the attack plus the bonus gem portion of the attack of the monster as well. Um, that's one of the big things that are going to be happening. The reason why this is somewhat worrying for me be is because this means that PvE is going to be a little bit harder. If you're not running monsters that have like, you know, defense defense up or attack up or like, you know, have attack down and stuff. And usually like, for example, the golem bosses like B10 has like really, really high resist. It's really hard for you to keep debuffs on him, but it's kind of easy for him to, to debuff you. Um, so normally people don't run a lot of debuff teams, which means that it's it's probably going to be a little bit harder harder for um, most people to run run golem teams now because they either need to rely on on like defense buff, uh, which not a lot of monsters actually have, and not a lot of monsters are usable that have like defense buff. I, I can only think of the Woodhana. There's definitely a few more like three star farmable monsters, but their first skill is usually pretty shitty, so. And their base stat and recovery isn't isn't like as good as the Hana, um, so that's a little bit worrying. But it's not it's not the worst in the world. Like it's it does say that the balancing patch was, is going to be happening next week, which means I will have like you know five six maybe no, not that many like maybe four days or so to um, to farm up, and it might it, I think I definitely will be able to get some pretty good gems within four days or so. So that's not the worst thing in the world, um, I, and I can definitely get like a lot better gems and start gemming my units up with like just really really good gems. Um, so for for me personally, it's not that hard. But for people that are just starting the game, like still work, still still only just working on golems, it's going to be a little bit harder for you guys to to um, progress because you guys will need to now have better stats. Because like armor break and stuff in in the dungeons. Um, all right, all right. So what's the what's the next thing? Um, oh yeah, the, the other big change is the change to the arena. So basically, right now the there's like this. It, I I guess the reason why they changed this is because there's people abusing the arena. Um, basically, what they would do is they they would have one person or maybe multiple people feed like their points to one person and make that person like rank up and stuff um, and you can easily make someone rank one with this if you if you have a few friends that are also like really high rank as well what they can do is like you know basically 
uh, do do arena and then you know maybe around the last hour or so they start feeding points to one person so they basically just keep hitting that guy refreshing finding him again and then just keep feeding him points um, over and over and this can I think this should be should be pretty easy to boost someone to rank one so there's like um, like rank boosting going on and then in order to to prevent this the devs have decided that they will they will change a few things um, about the arena. So, uh, first thing they, they changed is if you lose like twice to to another person, you won't be able to. They won't be able to lose gain points again. So if you hit someone, you you, you uh, don't. It doesn't work. You hit them again. It's not going to. Uh, it's basically they won't be able to lose points again. So you're not able to to boost them and and feed them points. Um, Second thing is the the cooldown time for the enemy list is re changed to, to 10 minutes. I guess this makes it so like um, this is only for like times two. So if I think if you refresh and find him and hit him again, he's able to gain points again. But in order to kind of combat that as well, um, they changed they changed it so that the refresh time the free refresh time is 10 minutes. And if you want to refresh now, it's actually going to cost more. It's going to cost you 10 astro gems. Um, which means you definitely don't want to keep doing this, like for for people that are um, that are boosting, D definitely don't want to. Well, I guess you can't. You can still maybe do it, but it's not going to be as effective. And it's going to cost you a lot of astro gems, and and they they get to make more money if you boost. So whatever um, doesn't doesn't really affect me because I'm not a top arena player. So whatever. And in order to prevent the league rankings from changing rapidly, uh, the point system is also changed. So now. Uh, if you, you know, there's there's like the times two system. If you lose to someone, you hit them again. You get you can make the points back and then the points again for for winning. So basically, if you beat someone in two tries, you're able to um, you're able to get your points back. But now you're not able to get your full points back. So you're, you're only able to get a max of 20 league points um, per win. So even with the times two, you can only get 20 league points. This is kind of okay because the next point they, they say that the the losing points for each battle will not exceed 10 league points, which means the more you fight, um, if you're if you have like a 50-50 win rate, your def your rank's definitely going to rise if you're hiding, fighting people of the same rank, um, because eventually you're going to you know you you might not you, you can only lose 10 points at most, but most of the time when you're hitting someone like e either the same rank or higher rank than you, you're going to get more than 10 points. Uh, what this also means is if you beat someone in the first try, it's going to it's gonna reward you with more points. But if you only if you beat someone in the second try, at most you can only gain 10, 10 points. Um, so yeah, I think this is pretty good. This is a pretty good change. It makes the arena a little bit more competitive. Not that I care that much about it because I just think it's... It's it's just something for fun right now. Like the arena rewards aren't all that all that useful. Um, they they are extra astro gems, but the amount of effort that you have to put into doing that, you can actually farm astro gems as well. But I just do it for fun. I think arena is definitely really really fun, um, and it's really nice that they're making it more competitive. Maybe in the future they'll add more rewards and make it like give people more uh, more of an incentive to to try. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys liked it, be sure to like it. If you guys didn't, then you can dislike it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.